Hi everyone, it's Gail again. Excuse me a second just to check that I'm actually in focus or in the shot. That should be okay I think. Right, I'm back filming on the rubbish camera, so sorry for that, but can of be helped. Um, before I do any makeup, I'm just out of the shower, moisturiser on, a wee bit of Mali primer. I'm going to show you a couple of wee things that I got recently. Um, the first was, and I've never heard of this when it came out, obviously it's been out for years, but I never heard of it at the time. And it's a Fashionista palette. And I thought it was getting eye shadows, but it turns out there's two bronzers and two blushes, but they're bloody lovely on the eyes. Really nice. Very powdery. So you get a big massive mirror. And these are the colours. And you can do like a whole eye look with this palette, it's so nice. And then I was so impressed with them, I went on to eBay to see if I could find any and I got nine eyeshadows I think, although some of these are blushers and this palette that you put them in and they're so easy to just pop out and put in, I wish everybody made them like that. So, and you can see when you pop them in, these are just holes so you can actually see the names of the products on them. <coughs> So there was a couple of dupes, not a couple of doubles, but there was enough to make up this palette. So this is a blush, and this is a blush, and the rest are all eyeshadows. So I only got them today, so I've not tried them yet. I've just swatched them and they look lovely. And I got another Fashionista product. Oh, aye, that was one ninety nine. I think this was. Two forty nine for the palette and the four blushers from Fragrance Direct, I think it was. And I think this was Fragrance Direct as well. So it's a fashionista, ready to wear brush on concealer. And I got this because I loved the LA Girl so much to see how it kinda compared. So I've used it a couple of times and it's quite good. It's quite pink based. Um and I get the shade light one. Then from Amazon, I've got another two Milani eyeshadows. So the first one is 24 Bella Bronze. And that's lovely. And I have used these in my eyes and they're lovely. And then I'm obviously into orange, the now little orangey things in my eyes. So this is 27 Bella Mandarin, and this is a satin matte, and the uh, Bella Bronze is a metallic. So that's a Mandarin. That's it right there. Hope you can see. Then I got another Jordana Best Lash Extreme. Because I got one the other week there, my daughter put it in her makeup bag and it fell down the back of her chest of drawers that we can't move because it's so heavy. So she's not getting that one. And I got the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. And this is lovely, just a nice bronzer. So that's me. I think I need to go on a major no buy. I'm going to Spain in October with my sister. So I think I should just cam my jets and if I want to buy something, I'll buy something there. Because this is just getting ridiculous. Not even wearing makeup, apart from on YouTube, really, because I don't really go anywhere. Uh, my pain levels are still sky high, but this is the best I've felt all day, although it's night time now, but so I thought I'm just going to come and try and film a video. 
don't even know what I'm going to do. Am I still pale? I'm still quite pale. So I could do the look that I filmed that I lost. Hmm, I think I'll do that. So I used the Rimmel Stay Matte in Ivory. Although this is Ivory, I don't think it's... It's not very, very pale, because it suits me now, and I'm, although I'm pale, I'm not, like, totally chalk white. But I think I'm going to, for eye primer today, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear, and mine is NC25. So I'll try and get a bit of that out. Fingers. Better get a mirror, that would help, girl. Oh, I was so gutted about the videos that I'd made. Oh my god, oh my skin. Um, just because I'm not feeling so great just now, so when I was feeling up to it. I was spending the time to make them and then losing them. Right, we'll leave that to set. And we'll try my new fashionista palette. Quite fancy doing something with the blue because it looks lovely. It's called Globe Shade 3 and it's a double take. So that's a double take. I want a double take, presumably because I'm marbled. That's just a matte, I think. And that's blush, that's blush. And that pink's lovely as well. Right, I need something just to go over that. I've got to use this Revlon Matte Shadow. It's rubbish, but it'll do just to set this. And it's in vintage lace. I've moved all my brushes over here because I just stick it tidy up and move stuff away. Use this crown IB127 brush and just go into that and set that so that I don't have any stickiness. To be fair, I get the shadow of the pen shop, so I can't really complain. Although I bet you it was quite a lot when they were in the shops because it's that's a Revlon so probably talking five ninety nine or something like that. Right then we will go in through the crease with the Zoeva two two one Lux crease and into this blusher, which is called Butterscotch, shade 10. I don't know, I can't really show you without it all falling, but there's a lot of, a lot of fallout, but... So I'm just going right above my crease, not in my crease yet. I just love these kind of pinky corals in my eyes. I've been catching up with everybody else's videos, so I think I'm up to date with a lot of folk. Right, 
and I'm going to take my bronzer, NYC Smooth Skin, and we'll go a wee bit lower down into the crease for that. I don't think I have a blue base. But I'll try the eyeshadow without it and see what it's like. And then, just take this, this a wee Essence eyeshadow brush, but it's quite good. And we'll go into the blue, and I'll swirl it up, because there's, um, there's like blue and gold and green and everything in here, so. Swirl it all about. It's not too pigmented, but you can build it. So the first layer was just a nice washer colour. I know I've got blue eyes, but who cares? I've not been eating well or anything, just with the pain. Practice brush. Right, that'll do. For the eyeshadows, I don't want anything too mad. Let's see if I can get an eyeliner. Excuse me while I wait. Mac one, excuse me a second. There we go. This is just a Mac eye pencil in the colour indigo. And it's just a lovely deep blue. Not very soft. Excuse me, I'm just going to put my hair dryer on for a wee sec. To heat this up a bit. I'm going to smudge it anyway, so I just want a line. It's not the softest um, eye pencil in the world, that one. Uh, I don't even know where this came from, just a wee bit of makeup brush. I'm just smudgy, smudgy, smudgy. So it's like a gradient, so the darker blue going into the eyeshadow. Oh, there's something else I got, but I'm doing a bit of product to show you. I 
white because there's a lot of glitter fallout from the blue eyeshadow. That's why I don't like doing my eyeshadow after foundation. Um, what is it? Oh, there it's there. It's the Milani Baked Blush in number 5 Luminoso. And this is gorgeous. It's just like a glowy, peachy loveliness. I don't know that it's going to show up much as a blush in me, but that's okay. I'm just thinking, do I really want to use that heavy foundation when I'm trying to do like a summer look? I think I'll use my wake me up. I'll use that for edges. Give a good shake. blend it with my fingers for a wee bit and then I'll use a oh ah! my lip I must have had a bit of blue somewhere oh. oh dear you've probably seen the background my daughter's suitcase that's her old packed for America leave in the morning I haven't used this for years, I don't think. I don't think I've ever been this pale. Especially not in the summer. We have literally not had a summer in Scotland. Look. Never. The sun's out there now. But during the day it's usually pouring the rain and freezing and... It's ridiculous. Just a nice coverage. Okay. And now we're going to our Fashionista concealer in the shade one. I think this is like one ninety nine or something. I really like these with the blush. Well, I'll just blend that in with the beauty blender. I'll do the technique sponge, I should say. And I'm just thinking. I don't know if I'll have a powder peel enough. I think I'll do the elf. Uh, I'm just gonna make up the elf high definition one. And I'll use a sweet equal tools brush, I don't know what it's called. Tap it in, tap it off. Oh my goodness, again. a lot. The autofocus is probably going crazy when I'm trying to blend here. Right. Brows. I've got to use my Joan Collins one. I think I showed this in the hall. Or I don't know if I showed it, but it was one of the videos that got ruined. So one side's black and one side's brown. 
So what I do is, I just kind of use the brown first. That was a lovely pencil, it goes on really, really easily. And I got this in QVC, I think it's 12 pounds. Excuse my stomach. And excuse my eyebrows because I'm trying to grow them in. Which is difficult. We're getting a new foster dog tomorrow. Called Diesel, another Rottweiler. So that'll be interesting. My husband and my daughter went up on Monday to meet him because I was not well enough. Um, and took Trudy up to see him, make sure they got on okay. And seemingly he was in love with her. He wouldn't stop licking her. And But it'll be interesting because I don't think we can ever get two dogs the same. But he's a male for a start, and I don't think he's had any training for years. So. Right, and this wee brushy thing, I'm going to take. And a bit of the blue on the edge. That's a lovely underneath colour. Not if you didn't want to do it in the top. Just a wee bit. Underneath. And Find a nice light highlighty colour. We'll use this other fashion star, so this is meant to be a bronzer, but it's like a pale highlighter. And before I do mascara, I'm going to do bronzer. Here comes Trudy. Hello. Been at a walk? Mm hmm? Good okay, girl. Go down and see your daddy. Truth. Go see your daddy. Where is he? Go find him. So I'm just going to use my NYC bronzer. And I'm not contouring or anything. I'm just warming up my face. Shall we don't look so pale in it? I'm trying to grow out my hair as well. Um, so I can't remember what I bloody said in half the videos that I've been doing. I think I was asking if he's good like that like hair journey. We may try to grow it to chin length. I'm going to use my Luminoso blush, same brush. That's a lovely glow. I don't think I need highlighter for that one. Very nice. Cuddle the lashes. I just hope this video turns out okay for you guys. And use my Georgiana.
And I think what I'm going to do is on my bottom lashes, I'm going to use blue mascara. My eyelashes are at that in between growing stage again. So it's a collection colour lash, all day colour mascara, and the colour electric blue. And this. And then on tips of my black mascara, I'm just going to be a blue. And you'll not see it, you don't see it kind of right away, but if you just put it in the tips, look when the sun hits it, you can see it. So it's nice. Yippies, <sighs> lips, lips, lips. lips. I think I might just go with my lip lava. I don't know what colour it is because they didn't put the names on the chips. But it's a kind of everyday peachy neutrally one. I wish these strength them up. I don't. I mine certainly don't. Look okay. Let's see if I can if I can see in the mirror and I will zoom you in. You see my eye. I think that's quite nice with the blue and the warm colours in your crease and then the blue underneath. Even though I think it makes my blue eyes look grey, but that's fine. Doesn't matter. So that's me. Good job, Blood this. And I can't even do an, an intro because I don't know how to edit on. Um, I just put it straight on YouTube and upload it from there, so I don't know how to edit or anything. But hopefully it goes up okay, and I will speak to you all soon. Bye!